Welcome to AEM Infinity Training Part 39. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our Megalog Viewer HD software. Now, the Megalog Viewer software is going to be a third party software that's going to allow us to have enhanced data analysis. So, we've covered how to review our data logs and taking a look at the data within our Infinity Tuner software, also taking a look at it in our AEM data software. So, this will be another way we can review our data. Now, there's going to be a key feature in the Megalog Viewer HD software that's going to allow for what's called a histogram. We can do an overlay on top of our main field table or main spark timing table and plot different kinds of parameters and taking a look at the averaging at this plotting across the cell points. It's going to essentially guide us in what kind of changes we need to make within our main VE table. So if we're doing, let's say, our cruising or part throttle driving kind of tuning and we have a 20 minute data log from a driving cycle and we want to review that data very efficiently and very quickly, we can use the histogram to generate a custom histogram layout within 20 or 30 seconds. It's essentially taking that 20 minute data log, condensing it down and giving us exactly what we need to know in order to go back in to our main field table or to our main spark timing table and make our editing changes extremely efficient. So without further wait, let's jump into this video so we can learn how to work with our Megalog Viewer HD software. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our Megalog Viewer HD software in conjunction with our Infinity Tuner software to be able to further fine tune our main VE table and to process large data logs much more efficiently. So we're going to be introducing the concept of a histogram within the Megalog Viewer software that's going to allow us to do this powerful data analysis in a very, very brief period of time. It's going to be doing a ton of different math crunching for us as we're going to be finding and it's really going to be speeding up what we're going to be going in and editing our VE table based on what we're finding in that histogram. So let's talk about the different ways we have right now with the Infinity to take a look at our data and our data logs. So within our VE table here and our VE tuning page, I should say, we have our VE table one, VE table two, target your field table down here, our plot window, and then our live data. Now, if we're capturing our data with our Infinity with our laptop, we're going to be finding that we can just pan back through here in a plot window and take a look at what's going on and uh, look at the point in the table we're at, essentially look at the snapshot in our live data of what's going on at any given time with almost any channel that we have within our Infinity. So this is going to give us a lot of information and we're able to process it pretty efficiently. The problem is going to be if we have a data log of this size, this is a probably eight, 10 minute data log. It's going to be a bit hard to comb through every single point in the data log and making sure that we're seeing what that lambda feedback is doing as it's sweeping through the table here. We can see how many uh, times it's going to be essentially sampling and moving the table and the lambda feedback is going to be constantly moving around. Now, what we want to really have is an averaging effect for the lambda feedback. So we want to just take a look at how many times it goes through a particular cell point and what that lambda feedback is going to be reading because every time we sweep to the same cell point, the lambda feedback is going to be slightly different. That's not going to be unnormal to see that kind of behavior. So we want to take the averaging of that, but we can't do that within our software right here. We're able to just kind of play back again that snapshot of what we're looking at. So we do have a different perspective of managing our data here. If we're going to be doing our fuel table tuning, we can jump into our AM data software. This is going to be the exact same data log that we're finding right here, right here is load it right into our AEM data. So looking at it in a completely different perspective. Now, some of the advantages we have here with the AEM data is reviewing the data in the actual individual windows here, being able to plot things graphically and seeing things a little bit easier than we can see here in our plot windows with the Infinity Tuner. But we're going to lose tracking that position in the table as we're finding, um, if we just go through the data log here, we're not gonna know exactly that position within the table. So it's a little bit less efficient to re review the data, but it still can be used. It still has its purpose. And we've went over how to utilize the AEM data in our Infinity training course. Now I'm going to be introducing a third way to take a look at the exact same data that we're capturing in a separate third party software. And that's what's going to be called our Megalog Viewer HD software. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.